Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual classroom for our Maths Easy episode for today. We will be learning percentages. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about percentages. So what are percentages? So when we say percent, this means per hundred. So when we talk about 35%, 35% means 35 out of 100. So if 35% of people like broccoli, that means that 35 out of 100 people like broccoli. So we could also say that if there are 200 people, 70, per, 70 of which likes broccoli. So what is 35% as a fraction? 35% means 35 out of 100, or it can be simplified as 7 over 20. So if we have an example such as 25% of 60, this means that we can turn the percentage into a fraction and the word of can be replaced as a multiplication in, in, uh, in mathematics. And of course, you multiply it with 60. So for percentages, it can be converted into simple fraction and changing the problem from a percentage of an amount to a fraction of an amount can often be easiest. So 25% of 60 means 25 over 100, which is 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 times 60 because of the word of, which is multiplication. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. Now let's look into another example. You have 20% of 45. So the first step, you convert 20% to 20 over 100 or fraction form. Simplify it to 1 over 5 and then multiply 1 fifth to 45. So 1 times 45 divided by 5 is 9. So that means that 20% of 45 is 9. Now let's look at another example. So 30% of 40, that's 30 over 100, which can be simplified to 3 over 10. So 3 over 10 or 3 tenths times 40. 3 times 40, that's 120 divided by 10 is 12. Hence, 30% of 40 is 12. Now let's test your understanding. Try to answer the following, 25% of 12 and 75% of 24. All right. So let's take a look at 25% of 12. So that will be 25 over 100, which is 1 fourth. Multiply it by 12, okay? That will be 1 times 12 divided by 4, that will be 3. So 25% of 12 is 3. The other example, we have 75%. So 75 divided by 100, this is equal to 3 fourths, so 3 fourths times 24, that will be 3 times 24, divided by 4 will be 18. Okay, so if we have questions that are in words or word problem, let's say for example we have, there are 800 students in ABC school, 45% of these are girls. How many girls are there? So our first step is to identify what is the total number of students that is given. That would be 800. So, and of course, we're only asked that it is 45% of the total population. So 45 divided by 100. So we have... 45 it divided by 100 we need to simplify this and that will be your 45 divided by 
hundred will be nine over twenty. So nine over twenty times eight hundred. So nine times eight hundred that would be seven thousand two hundred divided by twenty that will give us equal to three hundred sixty. So what is three hundred sixty? Three hundred sixty are the number of girls that are students in ABC school. Now let's take another example. Jane's total spending last month was 800. So this is the total amount. How much did Jane spend on food, which is 15% of her total monthly expenses? That means that out of all the expenses or spending of Jane, 15% of that goes to food. And the total amount that she spent is 800. So that will be 15 divided by 100 because we wanted to convert that to fraction. So that will be equal to 3 over 20. And then 3 over 20 times 800. So 3, we have 3 times 800. That will be 2,400 divided by 20. That will be 120. So, which means that the amount that you have spent with your uh, money, that is 800, is hun which is $800, is 120 for your monthly expenses for food. right and that will be all for our topic on percentages thank you and see you next time i hope that you have learned something new today and if you're new to my class please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today and as always as teacher maria would say Please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy series. Bye!